Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about reasons for non-specific binding in PCR. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So non-specific binding is a common problem of PCR reaction. There are few reasons why non-specific binding occurs in PCR reaction. First is lower annealing temperature. If the annealing temperature of the PCR reaction is lower than its original annealing temperature, non-specific bindings do occur between the primer and template sequence. This is because in lower temperature, it is easier for the primer to bind the template in spite of the sequence mismatch. So here we can see that the sequence mismatch is there between the template and the primer, but the binding occurs between the primer and template and it is the non-specific binding because of the lower annealing temperature. Second is the specificity of the primer. If the primer is not well designed and it binds at multiple locations in the template, it may result in the non-specific bindings between the primer and the template sequence. So this is the primer. It is binding at multiple locations and all are mismatches here. Three is higher concentration of primer. So if the concentration of the primer is higher than the optimum range, the primer binds other than its specific location on the template DNA and leads to non-specific bindings. This is because too much of primers may intend to bind various locations in the template. So it is the non-specific binding between primer and the template at multiple locations. Next reason is higher concentration of PCR enhancers. Sometimes we use PCR enhancers in PCR reaction to increase the yield. Now if the concentration of the enhancer is higher than the optimum range, the primer binds other than specific location on the template DNA and leads to non-specific bindings. This is because too much amount of PCR enhancers increases the PCR efficiency and primers become hyperactive and anneal at multiple locations of the template like this. One more reason that is the early action of TAC DNA polymerase. Sometimes during the PCR reaction setup when all the necessary components such as DNA templates, DNTPs, primers, TAC DNA polymerase and buffer. So when all are there in the PCR tube, tag DNA polymerase starts the synthesis process by adding DNTPs randomly. This results in non-specific binding. So he, here we can see mismatch and non-specific binding between the primer and the DNA template occurs at room temperature during the PCR reaction setup. And the DNA polymerase, tag DNA polymerase, it starts to synthesize. 